I have been talking about making um, adventure type videos for a long time and we did do the duct tape drags video so if you haven't seen that yet I do recommend checking that out it's a pretty interesting cool video but I wanted to I wanted to make more stuff like that just going out for a drive and like actually enjoying the car there's a lot of people on YouTube they spend a lot of time talking about the build of the car and then you just never see it again my video my, my whole channel is not really like that it's like every part of this car um, the ongoing things of just like owning a muscle car, yada yada. But we get we take the car out today and we go for a pretty good drive. It's like it's like a hundred mile round trip, and it's kind of cool because this this trip was really fun. But there was some things that happened along the way that made it more interesting, and that was for the good and the bad. <laughs> but you're about to see. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoy it.
pretty good amount of cars over here. People are here. I love that I have like the by far the crappiest car here. Oh my god. You don't really see these at car shows very often. Wow, that's really nice. Oh, is that a Fiero? Over there? I think it is. Hell yeah. No, we gotta look at that. I mean, Corvette's cool, but Fieros. <laughs> it's like that meme. It's like every masterpiece has its cheap imitation. <laughs> Oh my god, I want this thing. That's cool, man. How's it going? Good job. Yeah, how you doing? I mean, it was really well Too much fun. Is this a 3.8? I think it is. They did a... Or no, it's a V8. Oh, it's like got the like Cadillac engine in it, I think. Or 350 or something. I, I can't tell what things look like. Sorry, guys. Don't, don't blast me into comments. I don't know, but... It's a V8 swapped Fiero. This is like exactly what I wanted to do. <laughs> Pretty good. This is awesome. Is this a small block Chevy or is it the Cadillac? I, I can't tell the difference. Coming close. <laughs> I'm gonna see if you guys can tell. What does it say right there? See the red lettering V8 PFI? Yeah. PFI stands for port fuel injection. Of course you knew that. Uh, the other ones, the North Stars are, uh, they were tune port injection. Okay. This is before the Cadillac North Star. So that's a Cadillac 4.9 liter V8, <laughs> aluminum block cast iron heads with the Cadillac transmission, four speed auto. Nice. That's awesome. Take a look at the exhaust I just got down underneath there. It's got a Y pipe coming down into two cherry bombs. Can you see it? That's awesome. So as you're driving Those are down, tiny, tiny little mufflers. And as you're driving down the road and you see it, they look like they're glowing red. Yeah. Did you see it? They, they have this, yeah. this little red line to them. That's awesome. Isn't that cool? I think this is the it's, first VA swap fear I've seen in person. Sure. This gets so hot back here. Oh you God. can't put anything at all back here. Have you tried putting like dynamat or anything like that in there? I think if we're going to have to dyno it up, maybe double it up, but it gets really hot. Did you see the way the Y pipe comes down? No, I couldn't see, but. So it goes like this a crossover pipe, Y, and the Y is right here, and then the two are right there. And then yeah. they fan out into these trumpets on the outside. And that's pretty e efficient design for how little room you actually have. So The only real fab was motor mounts and getting the axles to line up. Did you buy the Archie kit or did you just this do... This was done. I bought it this way Oh, you done. already had it done? Okay, sweet. Gentleman didn't complete it though. Yeah. Yeah, because I know that there's like that V8 Archie guy online and he sells like kits so you can put an LS in it or you could do small block or the most the popular one they do is the 3800 supercharged from a Buick yeah yeah or like a Grand Prix or Grand whatever Grand Prix or yeah. Buick that supercharges and drops right in it's a lot better than a straight this used to have the 2.8 liter V6 yeah oh yeah. well, that was the big engine that was the big <laughs> that was that was this is 88 the last year oh this is a good suspension one too then the 88 has the improved suspension. It's just typical GM where they make something really good and then they just stop making it. They're like, all right, we finally perfected it. Let's quit making it. <laughs> they were losing $2,000 per car. That's a lot, especially when they're only, what, $8,000 or something? Really? <laughs> 12000 So, So yeah. um, last person asked me if I noticed the difference between the weight of the old engine and the new engine. And this is quite a bit heavier, but it's only about the weight of a person. Yeah. So it's about 150, 200 it's, pounds yeah. more than a, than a, than a 2.8. Yeah, and they have... Aluminum um, block. Oh, it is aluminum block? Aluminum block, nice. cast iron heads. I mean, if you got aluminum heads, it'd probably be right about the same. So, I, mean, I know like the 5.3 LSs, they have like an aluminum version of those that you can get. They're kind of harder to find, but they're, they're like the same weight as a uh, Iron Duke or something, wow. which is tiny. Interesting fact, these grills right here when they first came out mm -hmm. on this model were made of magnesium really these are aluminum this is an aluminum piece but they were magnesium 
Wow. On a car that catches fire. <laughs> That's try, probably try not put, good. Try putting that out. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> guys, right, you guys are missing the best part. Mm, the pop up and down headlights, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just took that hoodie off. Jealous? <laughs> I was underneath. There's no rust at all. It's like nice. a crazy. <laughs> but I am pissed though. Because hmm. I ran the VIN. Yeah. Uh oh. And I put it in Google. Yeah. The first one that came up, this was at an auction site. Yeah. Someone bought it for a thousand dollars. Oh my god. Non running. Yeah. And then did they do the engine swap afterwards? No, no, the engine swap was already done. Oh wow. It was non running. They got it for a grand. Oh Damn. my god. So now I'm pissed. And then somebody sold it to you for eight thousand or something. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah. And I'm like, oh god, <laughs> that guy just but <laughs> it's what I want. Yeah. It runs and drives. It run you heard it. Yeah. It runs beautifully. What transmission is it? It's the, it's the Cadillac transmission that went with that 4.9, so it's oh. a four-speed automatic. All right. Yeah, because it was a front-wheel drive yep. car, so that yep. makes sense. Yep. So I'll start it up. Yeah, you should definitely start I was going to ask you. Look out for that beat up the air I don't know if it'll start with the club on. <laughs> yeah, this might uh, be a deterrent. seen an 88 Bronco in that good of shape and maybe ever you know, that looks brand new <laughs> this is like the stuff uh, people of my generation are actually really interested in right now is like 80s and 90s vehicles oh my god look at this look at this Volkswagen bus <laughs> it's like perfect <laughs> This is definitely more cars than the last time we were here. Alright, so we uh, heard a rattling weird noise and Dan is over here using the bolt rounder to <laughs> uh, get the bolt on the front of this power steering Yeah, we thingy. we we stopped because uh, we heard something rattling and I was like, oh god, I really hope it's not a engine noise and uh, I do know the power steering was making kind of like a clattering for a long time well, not a long time but a little while and I uh, just tried to tighten the nut on the actual like front the stud of the power steering here and uh, I got it tight enough now that I need to like oops that's a fan it scared the shit out of me <laughs> um, but you gotta like I need to like hold this and try to tighten it because I was able to actually move it by hand so I think that it might have been Part of the problem, hopefully all of the problem. Uh, I'm gonna try to tighten that up some more and hopefully we're good. I have to bring myself at least six times. I can reasonably get it. So. All right, I'm gonna have Randy start it up so I can take a look. I don't know if it's in, I think it's in gear right now. Can you take a look at this and see if it looks or sounds any different? Seems quieter. It does have some wobble. I've known that though for a little while. Uh, but I think that it's okay. It's definitely tighter than it was, so I'm gonna call it good. I think we're good. I... Uh, well, we're back home. Uh, Got a little nerve-wracking there with the whole power steering thing. Still not entirely sure what's going on with that. I feel like it needs to be tightened up some more. It started kind of chattering after I dropped Randy off and everything, but we made it. It was actually like a hundred mile round trip journey. And that's probably like the most stress I've really put it under in like one single trip. I mean, apart from like the long highway miles that we did for duct tape drags, but I feel like that's a little easier actually. But overall, everything's good. Um, obviously a couple things I'm gonna have to go over on the car, but that's just how it is uh, I have a carburetor rebuild that I'm gonna be doing pretty soon. So watch out for that on the channel and uh, There's gonna be well, there's a lot of stuff still planned for this car So make sure you don't miss it subscribe if you like this video like the video leave a comment. Thanks for watching guys later